Do you know that you can make lots of money from Microsoft Excel by just creating dashboards just like what you have right on your screen? So you can as well make a lot of money from Power BI by creating dashboards and uh, helping businesses to answer business questions and give them insights to help them do their business better. In today's video, our focus is going to be mainly on how to make money as a data analyst. So our main focus is going to be on Fiverr. So we have Upwork, we have Freelancer.com, we have People Per Hour, and we have Guru. So we're going to be shining our torch light on Fiverr.com. So if you actually search for Fiverr.com on Google, it's going to land you to this particular page. So this homepage might change depends on when you are watching this. So let us search for Excel dashboard. So over here, those are the people that are some kind of offering services that has to do with data analytics, specifically Excel based on our search. So if you look at this particular person right here, he offers services for Tableau, Power BI and Microsoft Excel. So this person offers services for Excel, Tableau, Microsoft Excel, Google Sheet and others. So let us focus on a single person here, like this particular person right now to see if it is possible for we to make money as well on this platform. So over here, if I scroll down a little bit right now, so this person had done 326 orders. Can you see? So he has 12 years experience and he charged as low as $125 and as max as $2,250, right? So if we should actually go on average by $125 and multiply it by this particular number right here, let us see what we're going to have. So over here, we're going to have $40,750 in total. That is how much this particular person here has made. And if you go over here again and actually multiply this by the exchange rate of, of your currency or of your country currency right now, you would have seen how much you would have made if you are some kind of this guy, right? So how do we actually, you know, uh, become somebody like this. If you look at it, he has 4.9 rating, which is good, and 190 reviews. That is actually good. So if I scroll down a little bit right now, I want to go to the comment section to see what people are saying about him. So over here, this is one year ago. Let us look for the most recent one. So one month ago. Yeah, one month ago. So deliver exceptional data visualization work, including complex calculations from a semantic data layer showing incredible professionalism and keen attention to detail for exceeding far exceeding my expectations look at it so definitely this guy is good at what he does but the thing is this do not just focus on how much he made here so what do you do or how do you actually become good to actually get something like this done this number here matters this number here matters this number here matters. What really matters here is this number and this number. People look at your ratings and your review before they actually order your gig. It's very, very important you take note of that, right? So now our focus is going to be on the scale first. So let's say you want to start with Microsoft Excel. You have to make sure you master Microsoft Excel to an extent that you become a professional over it have a good command of Microsoft Excel to be able to create something as beautiful as this evil beyond what I have on the screen right now. So if your focus should be on Power BI, your focus here should actually be on learning how to use DAX to answer business questions is very, very vital to what you want to actually offer on you know, Fiverr platform. So remember, no client is very, you know, interested in anything you have right here as DAX, which is data analysis expression. What they are interested in is the output, which is their dashboard or what they can see, the figures, the charts and everything you have right here that can actually help them to make decision. But before this one can come to life, your focus should be on how to get the data transformed, collect the data, transform it push it and actually create what we call relationship between your tables that will definitely help you to actually have free flow or filter 
when it comes to filtering through your dashboard to have view or different views. So after you have learned all of this, you are very good at it and you are very much satiated that you have got hold of at least 30 to 40% 40 of the skill you need to work as a data analyst. Now, don't wait for the government. Don't wait for private organization. Pull out yourself and actually go ahead and sign up on Fiverr, just like what this person did right here. The first few months might look a little bit awkward. You wouldn't know how to navigate it. So once you have signed up, you're going to have to go to the marketplace to actually start searching for people that want to do something about visualization in Excel, Tableau, Power BI, or even Python, depends on what tools you know how to use, right? So for a start, you might be a little bit wavering. Don't worry. It happens to everyone. It happens to me as well some time ago, right? So pick up the most soft project and actually bid for it. And if it is given to you, try as much as you could to actually do your best to give him or her the best you can ever give, right? So that you can have the best rating. Remember something about what I said right here. I said this particular number here is very important. This number here is very important. This is what others would look at before they actually, you know, order your gig, right? Okay, the next thing now is how do you set up this particular gig of yours? It's very important. So let's go over to YouTube. So on YouTube, search for how to set up a gig on Fiverr. So once you have done that, you can actually use the filter here to filter the current year and it will give you some relevant, you know, um, to give you some relevant search that is still some kind of going along with what Fiverr interface is is right now right so after i might have learned about that it is time for you to actually look at how to find customers or clients to buy your gig to give you data you know our uh, work to make money from so how do you get that so i've told you to use the marketplace and the second way to get about it is to actually push yourself so if you don't have money to run ads if you believe in yourself you run ads when you have little money to people that want to actually get their data, you know, uh, converted to a dashboard to help their business. So if you don't have money, let me show you a free way to get it done. Let's go to YouTube right now. So right here on YouTube, I'm going to search for uh, data with decision. This is my channel and this is my second channel. So let's go with this one. So over here I have one, I have I think uh, over 70,000 subscribers and over 300 videos right on this particular platform. And if I actually go ahead and go to videos and you see the numbers of videos I have right here, you can keep on scrolling through to see what videos we have right here. Okay, why am I here or why did I bring you right to this particular part? The reason why I brought you here is this. So if you create content around what you do, that doesn't stop people from giving you their work for you to help them do it right so the thing is this people do not have the whole time in the world to actually have things done for them even while you show them for free right so some people will still go ahead and start looking for who is going to help them do it and the best person to actually help them do it is you so the question is this why you that was because you have actually shown your professionalism over a simple video just like what i have right here so this particular video right here has given me lots of gig over time. Like it has over 1.3 million views right now. So it has given me lots of gigs, you know, a lot of, you know, gigs that I had never thought of. People come here, watch the video, they'll be like, oh my goodness, I love this. Can you help me do this? All of that. And most of those videos right here. So what am I saying? Open a YouTube account and start teaching people how to use Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, Python, R, or Excel to do their work. So some of them would have time to do it, they wouldn't give you. And most of them wouldn't have time to actually have it done, have it done themselves. So they want to actually, you know, uh, employ you to have it done for them. This is how you can actually get your gig purchase on Fiverr. Very important, right? Okay. If you have any other information, let me know in the comment section. Another place to actually, you know, get people to actually give you uh, offers is actually on LinkedIn. Right. So right here on LinkedIn, you have to make sure you come here and optimize your profile, follow the right industry, the right people and leave the rest for the algorithm to do for you. 
And once you have done that, the next thing you have to do is to make sure you use some kind of paste in the snippet of your project right here, just like this particular person here, and show people what you can do and what you have done. So as you can see now, look at this particular person here. He's talking about KPI and all of that. He just, you know, creates a project and uh, he has 160 comments, oh, sorry, likes and seven comments with six reports. So it doesn't really matter if you have likes or comments. So all you have to do is to make sure you keep on pushing some snippet of your projects right in here. Another platform to use is actually, you know, TikTok. TikTok has, you know, a lot of engagement if you know how to use it. And if you have it in your country, make sure you open a TikTok account and push in your project right there to show people what you can do. And with that, you would have people that will give you projects to do. Right. So remember to achieve this number right here, it takes time and it takes consistency, endurance, persistence. It's not something that will happen overnight. So it depends on how much you push. You need to push beyond what the algorithm of this particular platform would do for you. So if you look at it, when we just search, if I search over here now, or let's search for Python. So we have people who are on top before those particular people come on top right here for Python projects, you know, gig, they had spent some months or some years right here and they have delivered core projects to people. So your focus should be on learning the software to an extent that you become an authority over it. It could be Excel or it could be Power BI. All you have to do is to make sure you master the software you choose to learn with. Now, when people come to Fiverr to search for who is going to help them complete a particular project, you can end up becoming the top five, the top three, like you see the top three. So before people go down and start looking for other people right now, they would have utilized the top six right here. So the top six, the top three here are uh, top rated. So top rated here, level two is still high. And uh, this is exactly what matters. Focus more on developing yourself and giving out, you know, top notch orders to people and stuff like that. When you get an offer, that is what can actually help you. So I believe this particular video would definitely open your eye to freelancing and uh, stop waiting for government and as well stop waiting for any in-house or company to actually employ you as an in-house data analyst before you actually start making money as a data analyst. So see you in my other videos.